Hey everyone, today's video is going to be my 2014 favorite products of the year. This is going to be including beauty and some fun products as well because in my monthly favorites, I always talk about some products that aren't beauty related that I have enjoyed and have become my favorite items. So I'm going to jump right into this video and I have a lot of products that I want to share with you guys. The first product that I'm going to mention is my foundation. This is my absolute number one need when it comes to beauty. If I just have my foundation on, that's all I need. This is MAC Studio Fix Fluid and my shade is NC45. I've been using this for years now and I absolutely love it and I never will change. I always set my foundation with this mineralized skin finish from MAC and this is in the shade Dark Golden. This is the new packaging and I know a lot of people don't like the new packaging. I absolutely love it and I think it's so much more sleek and so much more cuter than the last packaging. To talk about some bronzers that I use every single day when I contour my face, this is from MAC and this is Refined Golden and I have almost hit pan on this bronzer and I just absolutely love it. It's amazing and it's definitely, definitely perfect to contour with. The second one is from Makeup Forever and this is the matte bronze in the shade 40 and this unfortunately has broken so you can see what it looks like. And it's just another bronzer that I like to layer with my other bronzer to contour with. It's just amazing I absolutely love it. My favorite concealers of the year were the MAC Pro Longwear Concealers and I mixed two shades NW20 and NW25. I absolutely love it. It does not crease underneath my eyes and I just think it is just the best concealer. And to help set that concealer underneath my eye, I use the Ben Nye Banana Powder. Amazing. Love it. It does not give flashback in photos so I just absolutely love that setting powder. Another powder that I absolutely love was from Guerlain and this is the Meteorite Pearls in the shade number one, Tint Rose. This is the original pearls. I know that they reformulated them and they don't longer have this one. So this is the original pearls if you know what these are. So every day I use my beauty blender to blend out my concealer, my under eye, and it's just amazing product. I love it so much. And I also love using the beauty blender solid cleanser instead of the liquid one. It cleans the beauty blender way quicker and it's just amazing. So I absolutely love the beauty blender. I have a few blushes that I fell in love with in the year and this one is Flower Power from MAC and then this one is Peaches from MAC. Amazing blushes, definitely check those out. So for my highlight, I did not pick a highlighting powder but I picked an eyeshadow and this is the Dior Show Fusion Mono eyeshadow in the shade number one, Loon. This is the white one. It's an amazing eyeshadow and it's a more amazing highlight for your face. I love it. I use it so much and I've just become obsessed with it. I have a couple of these eyeshadows from the Dior line and these are my favorite eyeshadows, one of my favorite eyeshadows and I will continue to collect them later on this year. So now let's talk about these brows and I actually fill them in with a gel liner. This is from Illamasqua, the Precision Gel Liner and I absolutely love it. It definitely keeps my brows black and they don't move and I just, I love that product so much for my brows. So I will continue to use that for my eyebrows. So now that I finished up my favorite makeup products for the face, I'm going to go on and move towards the eyes. So my favorite eyeshadow primer is the Smashbox 24 hour eyeshadow primer. This is the sample size, but I will be picking up the full size very, very soon because I'm absolutely obsessed with this eyeshadow primer. So a few eyeshadows that I've been in love with this month. First, I'm going to talk about the NARS dual intensity eyeshadows. They're just crazy. I can't even, if you have not tried the dual intensity eyeshadows from NARS, definitely check them out. My favorite shade out of all of them is Kalisto. I got this for Christmas and I'm obsessed with this shade. It is just so, so pretty. Another eyeshadow that I have been loving is from the drugstore and this is the L'Oreal 24 hour infallible eyeshadows and my favorite shade is in the shade 892 Amber Rush. I did a tutorial on this and it's just so pretty. You don't even need to blend this out with any eyeshadow. Just put this all over your lid and you're ready to go. But I love these infallible eyeshadows from L'Oreal so definitely check out the other shades. And my last eyeshadow that has been my number one eyeshadow of the year is from Laura Mercier. This is in the Artist Palette, so I really love this palette. But the shadow I want to talk to you about is Ginger. It is my favorite shadow of life. If I could just have one shadow for the rest of my life, it would be Ginger from Laura Mercier. It's an amazing shadow. I love it, and it's just giving me life. I really do use it like almost every single day. So my favorite mascara of the year is from Yves Saint Laurent and this is the Baby Doll Mascara. It is my favorite mascara to use on my bottom lashes and that's why I chose it because you can definitely use it on the, your top lashes and I wear false lashes like almost every single day so it doesn't really matter what mascara I use but I will be using that mascara on my lower lashes so I just use it for my upper lashes as well. And so my favorite false lashes of life 
literally every time I just wish I could have every single lash from the collection flutter lashes and these are my favorite styles this one is Judy she is my first flutter lash pair that I've ever gotten in the beginning of the year and I'm absolutely obsessed with these I wore these to my graduation back earlier last year and this is Barb and these are more recent pair that I've gotten and I got these because of Nicki Minaj I love the name of them and they are just stunning on your eyes my favorite lash glue is from Huda Beauty and this is available out of the state so I had to order it from Dubai but I'm seriously telling you right now pick this lash glue up because it is amazing it's so much better than duo lash you put the glue on and your lashes will be ready to stick right on right away you don't have to like blow on the lashes and let the glue dry that baby will stick right away so before I move on to my lip products, I want to talk about my favorite brushes. And the first one is the Kevin Aquan Foundation Brush. I use this every single day and it's just amazing. This is a really, really expensive brush, but I swear this is an amazing brush to apply your foundation. You will be obsessed once you try it or pick it up or just even just feel the bristles on that brush because it's, it's some powerful stuff. My other favorite brushes that I have used so many times in my tutorial are the Tom Ford eyeshadow brushes. I also wanted to include my Tom Ford cheek brush, but I just recently got that. But these ones I've been using so much longer. Basically almost all year I've been using these brushes and I really want to own every single Tom Ford brush because they are that amazing. They're all goat hair and I am obsessed with any eyeshadow brushes or any face brushes in general that are just animal hairs. It's so much better to apply your makeup with than using synthetic brushes. And speaking of animal hair brushes, my favorite brushes of all time are Hakuhodo brushes. I have so many different brushes from them and every time I go to a makeup show, I always collect more brushes from them because it's just my favorite brush line. And my favorite liner for the year was my Lorac Front of the Pro liquid liner. It's just so amazing. The tip is so, so thin and it definitely can create that perfect thin winged eye and I absolutely love this liner. So now we're going to move on to my favorite lip products. I will never apply any lip color without using my MAC Prep and Prime lip. I use that every single day when I do my lips. And to prep my lips for my Prep and Prime lip, I always use a lip scrub and this is from Glamour Lips and this is in the flavor Bubblegum. It's edible so sometimes when I scrub my lips I just end up eating it instead of just like scrubbing it off with water but I'm obsessed with that and it comes with different flavors so definitely check that lip scrub out. I have a couple of favorite lip liners and the first one is from MAC and this is the Pro Longwear Lip Pencil in the shade Etc. I'm wearing that today and it's just an amazing nude. I love it so much and I really do think that it lasts all day because it's the Pro Longwear line. My makeup lasts all day and so does my lip liner. And then another lip liner that I've absolutely loved this year was from Makeup Forever and this is an Aqua Lip Pencil in the shade 1C. This is definitely more of a pinky peachy nude than the Etc. one from MAC. I don't have a favorite lipstick shade or brand for the year. I love all the lipsticks like almost equally. And so I want to talk about lip glosses because these lip glosses are, I honestly collect lip glosses more than I do lipsticks or lip liners. So it's my favorite, a couple of my favorite brands of lip glosses. One is going to be the YSL Gloss Full Up Day Collection. I have three of them. I love them all and I can't wait to collect more of them. I think these are one of the best lip glosses on the market. From the smell to the formula to how they wear on your lips to the lasting power they're just amazing amazing lip glosses and then another lip gloss that i've absolutely loved is this mac cream sheen glass lip gloss and this is the one that i'm wearing on my lips right now and this is in the shade boy bait this is my only mac lip gloss in the cream sheen glass collection and i'm obsessed with this lip gloss and then another brand of lip glosses that i've been so in love with this year are the NARS one. They reformulated them and these are the new newer um, lip glosses from NARS. And this is my favorite shade, Strip Tease, one of my favorite Danity King songs and I'm obsessed that it's a nude lip gloss because I love it so much. Every time I wear this lip gloss, it gives me Aubrey O'Day lips and I just, you can't get anything better than that. And so to talk about my favorite makeup removers, this is my MAC Gently Off Eye and Lip Makeup Remover. I use this every single day to remove my eye makeup and to remove my lip makeup. And then I always use my MAC wipes. I'm in love with them. I love the smell of them and they literally do the job with just one wipe. So I will never change anything between those makeup removers. And I also use this color switch from Veramona every single day when I apply my eyeshadow because there is a sponge in here and every time you do your eyeshadow, you literally just take the brush, just wipe it onto the sponge and you can switch colors 
just like that and there's no more color from the eyeshadow that you were previously using on your eyeshadow brush. So I absolutely love this. This is an amazing product and it literally helps you apply your makeup so much faster. To clean my makeup brushes, I used the Brush Spa Glove from Sigma. This was the original one because now they have one where it's like two double-sided, but I absolutely, or two, two like thumbs, like one on each side, but I absolutely love this. It literally cleans your brushes so fast and I really, really love that. It also comes in different colors if you don't want black. Another thing that I absolutely love using this year were nail polishes and I have become obsessed with a few brands. One of the favorite brands, my ultimate favorite brand that I think is just an amazing, amazing nail polish brand is OPI and these are my favorite shades. This is a nude shade called Simone Sand and I absolutely love this. This is probably the most used nail polish in my whole collection of every single nail polish in my collection. And then another favorite nail polish from OPI was a glitter one in the shade When Monkeys Fly. I love the big pieces of gold glitter in here and I always use those whenever I would do my nails. So I really, really hope they come out with more nail polishes with the big glitter pieces in them. Another brand of nail polish I liked was China Glaze. It's very comparable in price and these are my favorite shades from China Glaze. The neon colors, I really, really love these all summer. When it comes to summertime, I can't wait and I always paint my toes with some bright colors and I really, really love it. So this is my favorite one. This is Celtic Sun Highlighter Yellow Green. It's an amazing color on your toes and it makes you look super, super tan. This one makes you look super, super tan as well. It's perfect for Vegas and this is in the shade Pool Party. So I really, really love this corally neon color. My favorite top coat for my nail polishes were the Secha Vite Dry Top Coat. I can't even tell you how amazing this is. It's $5. Literally go buy 10 of them because I'm obsessed. I've used probably like four bottles this year because I use it every single day on my, my um, fingernails and all of my toenails. So I want to talk about my favorite hair products because sometimes I have my hair fixed, sometimes I wear a hat, and when I have my hair fixed, I use the same products all the time. So this is the Got To Be Glued spiking gel but I use it to curl my hair and it literally locks it down and it does not move the rest of the day so I absolutely love this hair gel it's like six dollars at the store and then my favorite hairspray um, I think any hairspray works for my hair but I use this one because I'm obsessed with the creator and the owner of the brand and this is the Milani hairspray it literally smells like a beach like I don't know if a hairspray is supposed to smell like that like when you spray it you feel like you're like out on the beach and it's just amazing. So there's three nozzles on this hairspray. So that's a cool factor about it. You can change it to have like um, extreme hold, like medium hold and like light hold. And I really love this. The creator of this hairspray is Layla Milani and I love her so much. She's one of my fashion inspirations and I just, I love her hairspray. She also has hair extensions. So definitely check it out if you really want to get hair extensions. And then my hair is black, so I always dye it, and I do it myself, or I have my boyfriend dye my hair, because I can't do it myself. But this is the Garnier Olea um, hair dye. This is the hair dye that I've been using longer than this past year, and I just really, really love this hair dye. And it keeps my hair black, so thumbs up to Garnier. So I finished all of my beauty products and at the beginning of the video I told you guys that I was going to include my favorite just fun products of all year and if you have not already noticed behind me, I literally will be a spokesperson for Diet Coke because I can't even tell you how amazing and how obsessed and how in love I am with Diet Coke. I will drink Diet Coke for the rest of my life. I. If I can shower in Diet Coke, I would shower in Diet Coke, but I'm so obsessed with Diet Coke. I literally love it so much, and I just love all of the little bottles that they have, the little glass ones, the aluminum cans, the... I, I love Diet Coke. So Diet Coke, if you're watching this, definitely reach out to me because I love Diet Coke. And so my very, very last favorite of the year, 2014, is my favorite song, and this song is Paris Hilton's Come Alive. If you have not heard this song, it literally is so magical and it will change your whole entire life. It's so, so amazing. I really, really love it. It's like a love song. It's like a fairy tale, and it's just, it puts you in such a really, really good mood. I love it so much. Every time I go out, I always listen to it in the very, very beginning, and I always listen to it right before I walk out of that door. And the music video just made me love the song so much more. It's so magical. There's unicorns and there's glitter. And it literally looks like a little fairy tale. And it definitely makes you like come alive. It's so good. And I really, really love this song. And it's just an amazing, amazing song. So definitely Paris Hilton did an amazing job. 
with this music video. So listen to that song because you really, really will fall in love with it and you won't be disappointed. Okay everyone, so those are my favorite products of 2014. All of my favorite beauty products and all of my favorite items that I've just loved using and have blown my mind and I can't wait to see what I'm going to fall in love with this year. I want to say thank you so much to everyone that has been supporting my channel and watching my videos. It literally means so much to me and I really, really do appreciate it. So thank you so much. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.